this is the Osmod chips installation video for the X key or X360 key. They change names halfway through production, but both names are good. Um, basically, it's going to just give you an introduction into the uh, to the X360 key and just uh, letting you know what to expect, what to lay out on the table before you get started. Um, so this is what comes in the official package. Now, from time to time, they might actually change the contents around a little bit. Uh, this micro USB cable might be changed to a flat cable. They might include something, take something out. Um, so if it's a little bit different than this, don't freak out. If this changes color, don't freak out. Um, as long as you have the main the main bits, then everything should work fine. So uh, the first bit here is the main board. So this probably will come in like a, some kind of packing, just take it out. Um, so this is the brains of the whole unit and, and what goes inside the, uh, inside the 360. Here you have a micro SD card and an SD card adapter. So you have a 128 meg micro SD card. I think only about 30 meg is used. Um, and to help you transfer information to it, they provide for free uh, a micro SD to SD card adapter so you can uh, I guess insert into your computer. Um, if you have like a USB reader from an R4 or some flash card you can use that as well I guess. The next thing is the X key slave board remote or, or screen. Comes with a bit of plastic and just tear that off. It's just for shipping so it doesn't get scratched. So that's the uh, input to receive information from the X key um, and to send it back and that's just your input for um, your hard drive. The other bit is the uh, micro USB cable uh, that kind of is in charge of connecting uh, this main board to the slave board uh, and passes through your console. It's not too long. Um, as I said, this might change. It might end up being a flat cable um, instead of a micro USB cable. Then we have a little Molex piggyback and this is basically going from uh, the X key back to your, your DVD drive. Same thing here, but this is starter. So this is for data only. Um, and what you'll find, I've ripped mine off, but I don't know where they're going to um, have this exactly, but somewhere in your package you'll have a serial number. Um, and this is to register your device on their website um, so you can download official updates. Um, as I said, the contents might change, but regardless of, of what they change to, uh, as long as you have a serial number and you can register, register it on their website, uh, then you've got a valid um, X360 key, you know, originally from the, the team that started the whole optical driver innovative business. So, um, you might also have something like that. This is something that we've been testing out for them, um, which is just a little USB dongle that kind of helps power um, some hard drives, but they've seemed to sort out their uh, the issues with 2.5-inch hard drives, so I, I doubt many people will, will get this. Just a reminder, don't rush anything. There's no prize for installing your X360 key in record time. If it takes you two hours, it takes you two hours. If it takes you five minutes, you know, congratulations. But um, you want to make sure you do it nice and slowly. Follow the instructions. The best idea sometimes is to watch this video uh, before you get started, the whole way through, um, and then watch it while you're installing it. And that way you know what's coming up and there's nothing's going to take you by surprise. So, um, this is an interactive YouTube video. So, basically just follow the prompts um, depending on, on what DVD drive and, and what uh, console you have. So, if you have a fat console, an original Xbox, click here. And if you have a slim Xbox, click here.